It's one of the most politically contentious decisions about Britain's infrastructure, and it hasn't even been taken yet. According to the Independent Airports Commission, Britain should get at least one major new runway in the southeast to meet soaring demand from companies and consumers. We think one net new runway by 2030 is what's required. So essentially it is either building another one or uh, at Heathrow or building another one at Gatwick. But we are also looking a bit further at one of the estuary options in case that could be a serious option. The Mayor of London's dream of a brand new airport in the Thames estuary wasn't included as an option but could be included next year if the Commission feels it offers a credible solution. Boris Johnson was still ebullient about that project despite today's setback. I'm relieved that the estuary option remains uh, narrowly uh, in the frame. That's, that's good news. We've got a chance now to make our case. We can uh, argue about the cost. We can argue about the environmental impacts. And I think people can, can weigh up the real options. It's basically, if you want a hub airport, you've either got to go with Heathrow or you've got to go with a new solution. The disadvantages of, of Heathrow are, are well known, but basically they are massively, uh, it's a massive environmental nightmare for loads and loads of people in our city. The Commission primarily looked at expanding runways in the heavily populated southeast because more than half of all flights in Britain leave from there. The first option it recommends is to build a new runway at Heathrow to the northwest of the existing runway, demolishing a thousand homes in neighbouring villages. The second shortlisted option is also at Heathrow, but envisages doubling the length of the existing north runway to allow planes to take off and land simultaneously. The third option being considered is to build another runway at Gatwick Airport, which is already using up more than three quarters of its capacity. So given how major expansion at Heathrow is now far more likely than it was three years ago, how do the local residents feel about it? Sipson still remains a blighted community because we will be at the end of a proposed runway and we will be determined to continue to fight Heathrow expansion wherever they want to put it. And Heathrow expansion is also likely to cause political uproar. The Conservative MP for Richmond in West London says it's a resigning issue for him. If my party changes its position on Heathrow expansion, then no ifs, no buts, there will be no third runway position. If that changes, then yes, I'm obliged to trigger a by-election. Downing Street said today that it was happy for the report to speak for itself. It may have created the independent commission, but it's under no obligation to implement its recommendations, especially if they're politically toxic. Joe Lynham, BBC News.